Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to learn how we can make the logout button work and we will design these icons. If you feel this stuff is a little bit easy for you, feel free to skip the video since we are going to do everything like practical. So let's start. First of all, we have we, lo we can log in here, but we cannot log out. If I click on this one, it will not work because we just put the code here, but it is not working. So I will go to the resources, view and layout. We have our master page. So if I come down, here is our logout page, which is just a paragraph and the link is not going anywhere. You know, when you click on the logout, it is sh it should go to the logout uh, URL. But the thing is, like the route is different. Like it is not like the gear request. You just send them to the route. If you want to know how it is going to work, let me show you. If I open the terminal here, let me open another tab for the writing the PHP artisan route list it will just uh, list the routes you have and it will tell you that uh, everything about your route like which method they are going to use if they are going to send any request so let's see which method uh, they use for the route when you log out so here you are and let me just close the sidebar if I come and see here is the logout and you know it should be a post request it means if you are going to click on the logout it should send a post request to the logout URL and that way we can log out so how it is going to work it is not too much complex so what we can do is we can use some of the built-in um, things they have in Laravel so if you open the app.blade.php they already have a form here if I come down you know we have a form here if someone click on the logout it will submit this form with a csrf token to the route of this logout this is how it works so let me just explain it a little bit you know these underscore underscore is in laravel you use them for translation later we will learn how to make multi like multilingual application for now it is just fine you can use underscore underscore so later you can translate it and then here is the point if someone click on the button it will just take the logout form which is this one and it will submit that so what we are going to do is we are going to use this one oh, I, I copy this um, I think I paste something I copy it and then you come here instead of the the URL you have here you can use this one this much simple of course you have it but the thing is you should change some of this stuff for example your a should have or the anchor tag it is not a drop down it is a nav link link like this one and then you have an icon so i will again use the same icon it should be inside the href so here we will paste them above the logout text and what else we need you know the logout should be inside the paragraph so what i'm going to do is just open the paragraph tag here and insert the logout text here so far it looks just fine we have the form here if someone click on the logout it should submit the form what else we need i think that's it we do need to do anything so i will remove the above one so let's see if it is working for us i will save it and let's refresh the page now we have our logout if i click on the logout yes it can successfully log out us and it will send us to the home page so again i will log in so that we can work on okay now i, I just want to give a little icon let's say color to the icons these are basic stuff you can feel free to skip the video if these are easy but i'm going to use bootstrap how you can use variables in sas and list to install them so if you go to your uh, access directory on the sas we have a variable and we have all the variable colors here you know these are all the colors they come by default so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use all of them so that i can create reusable classes uh, so later we can use them let's say if we have a text blue what we are going to say is the color should be the variable blue this is much simple so what i'm going to do is i am going to create all of these variable for all of them i mean 
when you save this one for now let's see if we can use the text blue for one of our icon here in the example let me just make the dashboard as blue so if I come here we have our icon dashboard so what I'm going to do is write text blue save it and let's refresh our page now as you can see the text changed to blue so for the logout I will chase just ch change text to the red so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them so for all this color we can do it what I'm going to do is just select one of them like this so now what we can do is we can press home we are on the home you can press up button we are in the app and I will select all of them then copy them then we can come down all the way down if you come down it will not come all the way down so what you can do is you can press enter here to empty some space and then remove this one for now because we are going to use all of them so these are how we are going to create class for them this time if I select we have all not the background on the in the top of course I will select them and then I will copy the colors from here and then come down now we are all here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write dot then I paste it then I press home I'm then home and I can remove this one now we have the classes now I will open the brackets here for all oops no it should be in the home first of all and press the end it should be in the end of all of them now you can just open the brackets now you are opening the brackets now write the color dot and then paste again and then press column this is how i'm going to do it so simple so blue indigo all of this so yeah now we have them instead of text just write them a blue for example if i come up here for the dash dashboard i don't need to write text just write blue and for the cook let's say we need a uh, green for this one and for the logout we need the red one so here is the logout icon it should be red I'll save it and let's see how it is gonna work refresh the page yes this is how it is gonna work so for the uh, profile let me see which color looks good for the profile let's say we are going to use uh, yellow or orange yeah maybe orange is better so here is the profile and you can write orange now we have some reusable classes so that we can use in future to colorize all our items we have in our application so that's it for this video in the next video we will continue discussing uh, the user management we will change the table and all sorts of stuff. Oh, so I'll see you in the next video.